Business really is unlimited for every single agent. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Well, it all depends on you, you know, because everybody's different. And there are a lot of failure in the business. I mean, I think one of the biggest problems is most people grow up working by the hour at a concession stand or something, get paid to just show up when you have to produce. You know, when you work by the hour, you get paid regardless if you produce or not. And that can hurt when you move into a business ownership mentality. You're, it's a big adjustment. It's like, well, I actually have to work. Right, so, um, you know, I've been doing this 18 years. Um, I got in when I was 20 years old, I was 2002. I made a meal before I was 23 when the market exploded, lost everything in the crash. Right, I went back to roofing houses and worked on the oil rig and stuff. And when I came back, I read 100 books and one thing I realized that brought me where I am now and something I want you to know and that new, I wish, I hope new agents really learn this from me is that business really is unlimited for every single agent. They're so, you can't even scratch the surface. And you think about a year long worth of transactions and you try to multiply where the market share is in that year and you don't realize we're here for 20, 30, 40 years. And we're building a year, we're building our business for the future. You know, at the end of the year for a new agent, you know, you look at your closings and you look at your tax returns and what doesn't show up are the skills that you improved on, your communication skills, your mistakes you made, the, the lessons you learned are worth millions to you and they don't show up on the stat sheet or your tax returns and the relationships you built with people who will do deals next year or the year after and the year after doesn't show up on the stat sheet. So when you look at your tax returns or how much you made at the end of your first year, that's really not all the entire picture here. You made a lot more money than that. It just didn't show up, right? And so I think if you can visualize that, you know, you're, you're working on yourself every day, every year, trying to learn how to be a better communicator, to communicate who you are, because you seem like you really care about people. And so most people that are unsuccessful, they care about people. They want the best for their clients. They're hard workers, they're dependable, they're professional, but they haven't developed a skill to communicate that to their clients. You know, they may come off to their clients as nervous and pushy or, or high pressure when they're not that kind of person. They're just that new agent's just trying to do something and they come off the wrong way and then your client doesn't see it the right way. So you have to learn how to communicate, let it come out of you who you are. You're a friendly, low pressure person. You work hard, you're dependable. When you learn how to communicate that to your clients, that, you, that you're there for them, not for you, it's like the old scripts of, you know, would you consider selling and who do you know? Right. It's so directed to what can the seller do for the agent. Hey, Mr. Seller, how you doing? Will you sell your house so I can make a commission? <laughs> and if not, well, screw you, man. Look, who do you know? Because I am trying to make me some money, right? Let's get away from that language. Let's get away from that and let's move over to what can I do for you? Let's make it about what the agent can do for the client. And when you start communicating in reverse of what mainstream training wants to teach you, then you really kind of visualize things. So just realize business is unlimited. You got to communicate who you are as a person and that, look, look at me guys. If I can do it, right? Do you look at me and think, if that guy can sell 100 properties a year, I know I can do it, right? So, I mean, there's so many people successful at the top and that's how it was when I was new. I was like, man, if that guy can do it, if Bob can do it, then I know I can do it, you know what I mean? And then you just put the work behind it and say, okay, I'm gonna do it within five to 10 years, you know what I mean?